Hello class, welcome once again to our uh, discussion today. Uh, we'll solve another sample problem from physics. Uh, this is our fifth example. So here is the problem. Upton Chuck is riding the giant drop at Great America. If Upton free falls for 2.60 seconds, what will be his final velocity and how far will be or will he fall? Okay, so we are given here uh, in this problem what we call free fall. Alright, so the this problem class is a little uh, different from our previous uh, four examples. So now it involves uh, gravi gravitational acceleration. So we have free falls. So we're given, okay, so let's write down first the given. So we're given the time here, free fall time of 2.60 seconds, all right? And we are required here to solve for the final velocity, huh? final velocity. So what will be his final velocity after this 2.60 seconds and how far he will fall? How far or how far will he fall? So how far? So that means... That is the displacement. So are you familiar with what is this uh, giant or say a giant drop? Okay, so for our solution here. So giant drop class is just like what you have seen in Enchanted King Kingdom in Santa Rosa. But uh, this giant drop at Great America that is located in the Southwest Territory of Six Flags Great America uh, it's a really a very tall tower where you do the free falls okay so you will ride uh, uh, at the side of the tower and then a machine will lift you up there and then when you're re when you reach above uh, the machine will release uh, whatever hold it for uh, for some time and then you will have the free fall okay so that's a very br brief description of this giant drop okay so for the solution uh, again as mentioned before we need to write down the formulas not to help us always uh, be guided by those uh, formula we have the final velocity given us uh, initial velocity plus the acceleration times time all right and we also have uh, another formula for the uniform acceleration s which is the displacement equal to the initial velocity times time then plus one half of the acceleration times the time squared and we have the third formula the final velocity squared equal to the square of the initial velocity then plus twice the product of the acceleration and the displacement s okay so take note that for a free fall If it's a free fall class, so you take note that our initial velocity is equal to zero. Okay, so now our first equation, our first formula becomes V equal to AT. And the other one becomes S equal to one half AT squared. And our third formula, final velocity squared is equal to 2 times AS. So we have reduced our formula into this resulting formula for a free fall. Okay, so take note on the difference class. Now we are going to use the gravitational acceleration. Meaning our acceleration, 
gravitational acceleration is equal to g which is equal to 9.81 meter per second squared okay so we have to use this constant you now for our free fall so we have to use this constant okay now uh, we can solve for the displacement meaning if this is the if for example this is the free fall so the giant uh, drop okay so this is our giant drop okay, so people are sitting here okay and so this is our displacement s and to solve for the s the this uh, the question is how far will he fall so it means that this distance so s from this formula from here so we have s equal to one half times the acceleration times square of the time so s is equal to one half our acceleration is the gravitational acceleration that is 9.81 meter per second okay so 9.81 so the unit is meter per second squared okay so we'll just omit the the unit uh, at the moment and then multiplied by the time which is 2.60 and you square this one so s so the unit of the acceleration is 9.8 meter per second squared then you have the time here in terms of second then you square it so second squared so we have second squared here as the unit then you have the denominator here as secant squared also. So secant squared divided by secant squared is equal to 1. So what is left is the meter. So therefore, S is equal to 33. Now using your calculator. So this will give us 33.16 meters. Alright. So this is our answer. Now the question of what will be his final velocity all right so initially the uh, velocity is just here which is equal to zero so what will be his final velocity when he reaches this uh, point after a time t which is 2.60 seconds all right so we are going to use the third formula so this one so we have to make use of this so from this one we have v squared equal to 2 times a s so taking square root on both sides so we have square root of 2 times a s so substituting so square root of 2 times our a is 9.81 and multiply this by s the one that we had just calculated 33.16 so v therefore is equal to so using your calculator it will give you 25 0.5 or 0 0.51 because that is uh, 506 or just one decimal uh, point and the unit here is in terms of meter per second okay so that's how uh, simple is this problem uh, just a direct substitution but if you don't know the concept that for a free fall uh, you have to have this new formula you know, that you need to use and then 
also this constant no, this uh, gravitational acceleration that is equal to 9.81 meter per second so that is in terms of meter but if the given is in terms of feet so you have to use the equivalent uh, acceleration in terms of feet I think that was 32.2 uh, feet per second squared okay so that's all for this problem class thank you very much and see you again in our uh, next sample problem so uh, our example number six seven and eight so bye for now